What's up people? Today we got another mother trucking tutorial. So today's tutorial is actually going to be on the best settings that you can use for OBS Studio, the free recording software. Yes, I said it. It's fucking free. So make sure you download it. I'll put the download link in the description if you don't have it already. But make sure you got this shit because I'm going to show you guys the best way to get the best possible quality you can get. So let's get this bitch started. So now that we're in the settings, you can see that my thing is actually dark. Um, this is just due to the theme. When you download yours, yours might look like this. But the only thing you're going to do is just click on dark and you can change it if you want. It doesn't really matter. That's not the point of the tutorial. I just like to have it there because it's easier on my eyes. I feel like the white is too bright for me. Next thing we're going to go to is you can just leave all this shit how it is. This doesn't really matter. So the next thing we're going to go to is the output stream doesn't really matter for the sake of this video because this video is about your recording. So like I said, streaming, we don't care about. This is about recording. So click on the recording tab and if this isn't already at advanced, put it to advanced. If you want, you can copy my settings here. These settings I feel like are the best settings you can get, but I'm going to explain a little bit. So don't click off of the video yet because I have to explain a little bit for some people because your computer not every computer is the same as mine I'll go into details on how you can tweak it a little bit if my settings aren't working for you for the recording path this isn't really too important but I feel like the easiest thing to do is to set it to your desktop or a folder on your desktop like I have it set to this recording recording folder right here so that way that I know whenever I click stop recording that file is gonna go to that folder so the next thing you're gonna do is change this recording format to mp4 that is the best thing you could ever do for yourself ever so the reason for that is is that i believe that it starts off on flv um not every editing software works with flv or any of the other recording formats mp4 is the most standard most generalized format you can get and it's the easiest one to work with for any recording or editing software and the next part is the audio track. Just keep that at one. I don't really know why you would need two, three, four, five, or six. Um, the encoder, I would leave that at whatever your graphics card is. So my I have a NVIDIA GTX 960, and I leave mine to encode from that. This is actually the best that you can get if you do have a good graphics card. Um, you can keep it at X264, but if you have a good graphics card, I would suggest leaving it at that. Um, the rescale output, don't mess with that. Just leave it how it is just because it's set to whatever your monitor is. Profile, I keep it at main. I don't really know what the difference is between the other two, but main seems to work for me. The same thing for keyframe interval, I leave it at zero. But the rate control, if it's not already at CBR, keep it at CBR. This is going to keep it at a constant bit rate. So whenever you're recording, it stays at that bit rate the whole time. It's not going to change. Um, the bit rate, what the bit rate is, is just... I'm not really too sure how to explain it, but the higher that you go, the better computer you should have for a better quality. Um, the bitrate is an area that you might need to tweak a little bit. Like I said before, not every computer is the same. I'll put my specs in the description so you can compare yours to mine, but 40,000 and 50,000 does seem to work the best for my computer. If you have an older computer, I would suggest the 20,000s to the 25s to the 30s, 35s maybe. Um, what you want to do is, is when you're recording, whatever you want to record, just test it out with, start out with 40,000. And if 40,000 is too high, just put it down. The way that you'll know it's too high, I'll put a screenshot on the screen of what it'll say. But you look at the recording and it'll say the CPU usage is too high. Um, that's how you know that it's, the bit rate is too high because then if you play that recording back, your recording is actually going to lag. It's going to stutter a lot. Um, I learned that the hard way by recording an hour of gameplay and then I realized that I had to delete the whole thing because my fucking bitrate wasn't right. So make sure your shit is right or else you're going to be pissed at me and yourself and I don't want you to be pissed at me. I want you, I want to help you. All right. So just keep it at 40,000 and then just go down from there if 40,000 doesn't work. The next tab is the audio tab for this. Just go into track one, and if it's not already at 320, change it to 320. This is the best audio bitrate. The bitrate for the audio doesn't really matter. Um, this is just the best quality you can get. So for the next tab, I have the we have the audio, audio itself over here on the left. And for the sample rate, this depends on your mic. To figure out what your sample rate is for your mic, just go down here to your speakers, right click, 
click on recording devices find your mic I'm using a blue snowball I don't know why this is checked off here for my microphone for my webcam but I'm recording with Elgato and it tells me that I'm recording with my blue snowball so I'm good but that doesn't really matter just right click on the microphone click on properties and then go to advanced whatever this is set to by itself is the sample rate that you want to have on OBS this is just the set the set quality for your mic so just keep it at there it might be set to 48 um, I don't know maybe if you have like a mic that plugs in through like a audio jack and not a USB it'll probably be over there my mic is a USB mic um, but it's still pretty good I think at least and it was very cheap I'll put that in the description as well if you guys want to look it out or look it up um, I got mine from Amazon you can get it from Best Buy it doesn't really matter but that's besides the point the next part is the channels just keep that at stereo if it's not already um, for desktop audio device keep that at default or speakers this is just gonna play whatever is being played that you hear so if you have headphones plugged in it's gonna record that um, or if you have it through your speakers it's gonna play whatever your speakers are hearing so desktop audio device 2 just keep that at disabled mic auxiliary device please make sure that when you plug in your mic this is set to your mic because if you let's say you plug in your webcam first it might it might not just automatically select your webcam so just make sure you have it set to the microphone you want to use to record. For the rest, you don't really need to worry about it. You can just leave it how it is. The next part is another very important part is the video. So the base canvas resolution, this is just going to be set to whatever your monitor is. You can't really change it. It's going to be the same thing no matter what. The output scaled resolution, actually this will probably, I think I have two because I have two monitors and both are 1920 by 1080 you can choose which monitor you want to record which is also a cool aspect of this program um, I obviously have it recording my main monitor so the next part is the output scaled resolution so for this I would leave it to whatever your monitor is set at um, if you put it lower it's just gonna record in a lower quality the only reason why I would ever suggest that if you have a really old computer and recording like you can't just figure out you just can't figure out how to record in 1080p 60 frames you can put the resolution down and hopefully the recording would work smoothly for you and for the next part we have the downscale filter so this is actually very important as well this is actually how like I guess the high the quality will be for your recording I always keep mine at the highest the lands codes I don't know how you fucking pronounce that but it's a sharpened scaling 32 samples keep it there this is the highest quality you can possibly get and it always looks the best so keep it there for the FPS values this is just self-explanatory you can record at 30 frames 60 frames I feel like the best thing to look at is a video recorded in 60 frames per second 1080p but like I said before if you have an older computer you might want to put that down to let's say 30 frames because your computer might just not be able to handle it for the hotkeys I don't really mess with this too much but you can if you want um, it's just a button that you can press to either stop recording start recording or stop recording or just other things in general you can play with that if you want but that's not the sake of this video the sake of this video is for settings that you can get to record so the next part is the advanced process priority this also depends on your computer um, if you have sort of a uh, lower end CPU this the CPU is actually the part that determines how high you can put your quality so if you go to a game let's say and then you start moving your mouse very quickly you can start to see it lag maybe this is due to your process priority you can also put that down to normal or above normal I usually keep mine at above normal because like I said before my computer isn't the greatest computer but it is a decent build for the render, I would just leave that at Direct3D11. Um, for video adapter, you can't change that. For the color format, I would just leave that how it is. I believe this is how it comes standard, but if it's not, just copy my settings here, NV12, 709, and full. This is the best coloration you can get for your recordings. You can probably see on my recording right now that the coloring isn't that great. That's just because I don't know how to properly work the settings for Elgato, um, but for OBS, if you look at my screen here, you can really see the difference. You might not be able to, because like I said, I'm recording with the Elgato, so you can't really see it. But I'll put I'll put like a small little two-second clip of recording with OBS so you can see the difference. 
for the next part this stuff i have no clue what this is i would just leave that how it is all of this stuff you can just leave the way it is and yeah that's pretty much it if i helped you guys out please leave a like leave a comment subscribe like i said if the 40,000 bit rate isn't really working for you, just put it down a little bit and just keep on testing it until you get that sweet spot, that G spot. And then you'll be able to put out some nice gameplays or tutorials, whatever you want to do to record your screen. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said before, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial or whatever the fuck you guys want to see. Bye.